hinted that a significant formation change could be in the future, Reds went to it against Ajax last week. Things haven't always been perfect at Liverpool under Dragon Club. The first few years were a mix of frustration and brilliance, signs of a team still finding its way. Eventually, the team did find its way and the Reds produced new perfection as they swept up every trophy. But now, things are faltering. Liverpool just don't have the same rhythm that they did and made it to change things. That would be new for Klopp. He stuck fairly rigidly to his 4-3-3 system since arriving at the club and it's a formation that brought incredible success. Liverpool, though, aren't finding that the system works right now. Part of that is down to injuries, while losing Sadio Mane, an integral part, hurts too. The Reds are finding that star signing Darwin Nunes only really works in burst, with him struggling in starts. And perhaps that necessitates change at Liverpool, maybe even a significant one. Club must do something to fix the current form, and he may be about to learn into the past for his answer. A Liverpool formation change As Liverpool chased a goal against Ajax, Club put Nunes into the game. He also switched the system, though, as he used to Thiago and Fabinho as deep lying players and introduced Roberto Firmino as a number 10. They went 4 2 3 1, in effect, in an attempt to get the best of both worlds up top. Liverpool's success has come with Firmino as a false 9. After all, he's been the link man between midfield and attack, dropping deep and creating space for others. Nunes doesn't do that, he leads the line, forcing players out of his space and occupying defenders. With both on the pitch, Liverpool can both occupy defenders and allow Firmino to link between the lines. The sacrifice is in midfield, while the wingers also get less space to drive into centrally. We wonder if club will try this for a bit, though, essentially it would be a bridge system between the Liverpool odd and the new plan with Nunes, it's something he's done before. Fabinho also wasn't quite up to stretch in Liverpool's 4-3-3 when he arrived. Klopp didn't use him in that formation in a big game until the March after he arrived. Until then, it was 4-2-3-1 with Mohamed Salah playing centrally. As we detailed here, Salah played 13 games as a central striker in 18 or 19 as Fabinho got up to speed. He scored 13 times in that span, carrying the side at times. Perhaps club can try similar, then, as Nunes finds his way at Liverpool, a temporary switch that allows him to generate an understanding with his teammates before going back to 4-3-3 for the last months of the campaign. It wouldn't rely on Salah playing centrally, of course, instead Liverpool would be relying on Fabinho and Thiago to hold down a two-man midfield. If they can do that, Firmino can play as a number 10 and Nunes up top. This seems to be something club is thinking about, with his change at the Jacks hinting that way. It would be a significant change in the short term, but as with Fabinho, Liverpool could reap the rewards come May.